The Supreme Court is in a deadlock over President Obama's executive action on immigration reform. This stops the reform from moving forward. We have complete coverage of this major development. Kent has reaction from presidential candidates. But first, we begin with Channel 4's Janice Harris. She spoke with a local immigrant who's been working to become a U.S. citizen. Janice? That's right. I spoke with Patty Jimenez, who has been working on becoming a U.S. citizen for over 10 years. She says today's deadlock is very disappointing. It's not easy to be an immigrant. It's not easy decision to make to leave your country where you grow up. Patty Jimenez is an immigrant from Venezuela. Jimenez says the recent deadlock in the Supreme Court over President Obama's executive actions for immigration is disappointing. When you come here, you're searching for that, you know, the American dream, right? You're searching for all the opportunities and we work hard for it. The president saying this ruling will push the country backwards. For more than two decades now, our immigration system, everybody acknowledges, has been broken. And the fact that the Supreme Court wasn't able to issue a decision today doesn't uh, just set the system back even further. It takes us further from the country that we aspire to be. The president's 2014 executive action would have expanded the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival program and allowed deferred action for parents of Americans and lawful citizens. Basically, it would have allowed immigrants to legally work and obtain other benefits. Stephanie Scarborough, an immigration attorney, says that action is now void and will go back to a lower court. The current DACA, the one that, that has not been challenged, the first one from uh, 2012, stands until it's challenged separately. The new and expanded program that the president announced in November 2014, the DAPA and expansion of DACA, will essentially die. Meanwhile, Patty will soon be a U.S. citizen and is hopeful there will be more assistance for immigrants in the future. Rulings like the one today, you know, they're definitely disappointing and they're disappointing to millions of people, but um, I feel like the system has a way of working itself out. Patty Amina, she actually took her citizenship test today. She passed. She will officially become a citizen next week. Live from Southport, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. The Supreme Court's decision is getting plenty of reaction on social media, especially from the presidential candidates. Kent's here now with a look at what both sides of the aisle are saying. Kent? Yeah, I'll show you a little bit of it. But after the ruling, for instance, Hillary Clinton tweeted today uh, saying today's heartbreaking SCOTUS immigration ruling could tear apart five million families facing deportation we must do better donald trump didn't miss his chance to get on the action hillary clinton's open borders are tearing american families apart i'm going to make our country safe again for all americans bernie sanders also participating he said we cannot let their future and the future of so many more vulnerable people fall into the bigoted hands of donald trump and then outspoken republican newt gingrich he tweeted this just spent two days just spend two days in hungary a country which is a proven offense can stop illegal immigration american media should study hungary's record these are just some of the reactions we're hearing today after